Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Um, today's plugin has many names, Saucic, Monsieur Saucé, or just short, Sausage Fattener. And at some point in time, it was probably the most hated and most beloved plugin at the same time, because it makes shit loud. And a lot of people love loud music, and a lot of people hate loud music. So it was very controversial, and it was also a lot of, or a source of a lot of memes. And in this video, I want to show you what it does, what it really does, because there are a lot of videos on YouTube that try to explain what it does, but I show you what it what it really does. And I also want to give you a free preset for Bitwig Studio that almost kind of knows out what this plugin does. So here we want to switch to a plugin doctor first. And I can show you here in the oscilloscope. And then we switch to Wave Shaper. And then we bring down here the volume and we change here the input volume with the test signal. And you can see we have almost like a diagonal signal here. So input uh, value is output value. So nothing changes. And then we increase here the loudness of the audio signal going in. And you can see here at the top at zero dB or, to, or one, we get some kind of rounded edges. So this is a soft clipper on the way to becoming a hard clipper. So it's not really soft clipping, it's not really hard clipping, it's hard clipping with rounded edges. I would call it that this way. Um, so yeah, it's a soft clipper and then you push uh, the audio material a bit harder, then you can see this line here skews over to the right. Which means um, there's also a limiter or some kind of compressor uh, in the process, preventing the audio material going too hard into the clipper. Because when you push the audio material too hard into a soft clipper, at some point it becomes a hard clipper or you get too many overtones or it's not audible anymore. So there is a compressor involved, but it's not in front of the, uh, it's not after the clipper, it's uh, in front of the clipper, but the threshold is not zero dB, it's almost like one dB above zero dB. Um, so it's preventing you from clipping too hard. So that's the idea. Then we have here the frequency analysis part. And this is uh, more or less like a low cut. You can see a low cut at 20 hertz, 50 hertz going down to 20 hertz. So this is hard coded. You can't change this low cut. It's probably there to prevent, you know, low rumble going into the clipper and producing too many overtones or... Um, disharmonic overtones and then we have this color knob here which introduces a peak eq um, to push certain frequencies harder into the clipper to produce different overtones or harmonics so this is the idea and then when you increase here the fatness you can see this is here the effect of the clipper and at the same time this fatness knob is just a gain knob so you increase here the gain you can also use this gain knob to increase the gain or you can increase the gain in front of the plugin and push uh, the audio material louder into the plugin. So all of these things do the same. So fatness knob, gain knob is all the same. And then color knob is an EQ. So that's basically it. This is the whole plugin, what it does. It's low cutting the signal, then it applies an EQ and then you push everything into a soft clipper and then a limiter or a compressor in front of the clipper prevents you from clipping too much. So in my opinion, that's it. And then I created from this a part, I created some kind of preset that looks like this. We have here a color knob and a fatness knob, output gain and mix. And then I have here on the second layer, I have the sausage fattener here and I bring this down. I actually, I use here uh, global macros. So I have here these global macros on the left side, so I can change the fatness knob and the color knob on this plugin. At the same time, also on my preset here, fatness and color, right? To actually test all of these positions, all of these plugin parameter positions. So then I have here, let's use the uh, plugin version first. I have here a drum loop going into the sausage fattener and I can turn up here the fatness knob. So this is my preset. OK, 
Okay. And then on my preset here, I'm using a tool device, inverting the polarity to actually try and match, you know, to null it out basically. So this is how it sounds. So this is the preset polarity inverted with a real uh, sausage fetner plugin. You can see it's yeah, kind of matching what it does. Uh, we can also instead of this drum loop, we can use here a test tone. You can see here we have minus 30, 60 B. It's almost nulling out. Right. So it's doing the same thing. And um, yeah, that's more or less it. It's actually just a soft clipper uh, with a compressor in the front. So here I can show you this. I um, have an FX grid. Inside of the FX grid, there's a transfer curve. I try to match here this rounded edge pretty much to have it as close as possible to the sausage fattener. Um, then in front of the FX grid, I'm using here an impulse response for the EQ cut, right? So I try to get exactly the same low cut. Um, then I have here some gain balance stuff. Then I use an, a compressor here and the compressor is not um, at zero dB. So it's not catching peaks at zero dB. That's important because you can see here, I'm going slightly lower minus 0 0.9 dB, right? Scaling it down. And then uh, at some point here, I'm scaling the volume up again, I think with the, with the clipper here. So this dynamics plugin basically catches peaks over zero dB. So it prevents you from going into the clipper too much without processing uh, the peaks before you process it with the clipper. So that's important. You need to go into the clipper first, but then you don't want to go too much into the clipper. So the threshold of the, of the compressor is higher than the threshold of the clipper. That's important. Then I'm using here an EQ5 for the color signal. Um, it does more or less the same thing here. Yeah, and then I go into the clipper and then after the clipper, there's also gain knob uh, increasing the volume again. And then I'm using a time shift just to counter the latency of the plugin so it matches. Also try this here. Right. So it's uh, important to count out the latency. So we have each partial on each partial, so it nulls out. And then we flip here the polarity, and then I have also a scope here just to analyze this uh, part. So I put this um, preset here in the description below. It does more or less exactly what this plugin does, and you can put it on your tracks and almost use the same settings. So when you have like an old track and you have dialed in here 40% here and 40% here, right? You can dial this also in in this preset and it should ex sound exactly the same. So this was my goal for this preset. Um, like I said, it's in the description below. Um, don't use it too much because people will hate you. Hate you. <laughs> and that's it. Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, have fun with this preset. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.